the fragile male ego just cannot handle the fact that more and more women are getting more leading roles in the MCU. Like, I see people calling it on Twitter, MCU. And they're already mad about this show. Like, this show is already being review bombed. Before, and it just came out today. So, it, they was being review bombed before the show even came out. And I'm loving every single moment of it. Because the toxic comic book fans cannot handle that the MCU is now starting to cater towards more than straight white men. <laughs> Welcome to my safe game and thank you guys so much for joining me here for another review on the Black Gay Comic Geek channel. If this is your first time coming across my channel, hey how's it going? My name is Michael, I call myself the Black Gay Comic Geek and I always say the things that I love to talk about on my channel has blood, sex, gore, and magic or any variation of the four. So I like to talk superheroes, I like to talk comic books, I like to talk video games, I like to talk action movies, I like to talk sci-fi, I like to talk fantasy, I like to talk horror, and I like to talk about black representation and queer representation. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you think representation matters and representation equals normalization, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Guys, I've just passed a milestone on this channel. I am now at 6,000 subscribers, so let's continue to grow. And you can help me continue to grow this channel by hitting that like button. It'll really help with the YouTube algorithm and getting this video and my channel out there. Make sure you watch for the watch time, like on this video for the algorithm, share for other people, watch, like, share, comment, interact for the all gay rhythm on this video. So we are here, if you couldn't tell from the title, to talk non-spoilers for episode one of She-Hulk. And I feel kind of ashamed because if you guys are connoisseurs of YouTube, you see that a lot of people have released their non-spoiler review for She-Hulk and they've seen the first four episodes. I could have been amongst those ranks of seeing the first four episodes of She-Hulk because Marvel Disney sent me the first four episodes on like Friday, but I was busy. I was hanging out with friends this weekend, so I went to go watch it on Monday night, not realizing that there was an expiration date. The actual, the, the, the screener, expired at like Monday at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I didn't know. So when I went to go check, click it on Monday night, it was like no screener. I was like, what do you mean? And I checked my email and I was like, oh, so now I guess I got to wait week to week like the rest of it, like everybody else. But which I mean, ultimately, I guess it's kind of better because now I don't have to wait like a month to get the next new episode. Because if I would have seen the first four episodes, now I got to wait like, yeah, like I got to wait four weeks to see episode five. So I guess in that way, it's kind of better. But then in, some, in, in terms of content creation, it like puts me behind because I can't just automatically pre-record like my review for episodes two, three, four. But whatever, I'm, I'm used to it anyway. I remember back before I used to get screeners, I had to do it just like everybody else. So here we are. <laughs> but yeah, non-spoiler review for episode one of She-Hulk. And suffice to say, based on episode one so far, I really enjoy She-Hulk. And I love the character of Jennifer. Of course, I love Jennifer Walters from the comics. But Tatiana Maslany, i never seen Orphan Black or whatever. But I heard that she was excellent in that show. And I really like her as She-Hulk and her relationship and dynamic with Bruce Banner. Now, with that said, let's get the elephant out of the room or the Hulk out of the room with regards to the CGI because everybody, including myself, were talking about how the CGI for She-Hulk looked really bad in the trailer. And obviously with trailers and then everything that's going on with Marvel and the VFX team, so it's I'm happy to say that the VFX, the She-Hulk CGI looks way better now than it did when the trailer came out. Because the trailer came out like months ago, so they still have months of work left to work with CGI. And my friend Fantastic Frankie made a very good point. Whereas, because people are like, why does the CGI for Hulk look so much better than the CGI for She-Hulk? And that's because the VFX artists already had years of Hulk CGI to work with. So it was way easier for them to render the Hulk than it is to render She-Hulk because for She-Hulk, they're starting completely from scratch and they're starting from a, a lower TV budget. Now granted, TV, Disney, put, Disney puts way more money into these shows than they do a standard, than most shows do for a standard television show, but it's still nowhere near the level of a movie. And I'm sorry, my bad, the show is not just called She-Hulk, it's called She-Hulk Attorney of Law, and this very first episode is called A Normal Amount of Rage, and 
I really like this origin story for Jen Jennifer Walter. Now, granted, it's a little different than her comic book origin. Her comic book origin was Jennifer Walters got a full blood transfusion from her cousin, Bruce Banner, and that's how she became She-Hulk, as opposed to this show. It's not really spoilers, because it's in the trailer. A little bit of his blood mixed in with her blood in like a car accident or something like that, and that's how she got her powers. And part of me kind of wishes they kept the full blood transfusion storyline, because part of me is like, you mean to tell me out of all the battles that Hulk's been in, none of his blood like accidentally got on one of the Avengers or something. And they do explain more of it in the show, but I'm still just like, oh, come. But it's not, it's a minor, 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 barely a criticism. And the thing that I really liked about this first episode that they get into is something that's definitely gonna piss off a lot of people. And it's not really a spoiler because I'm not gonna say what it is, but like, I like that they really go into and dive into what makes She-Hulk a more better functioning and higher functioning Hulk than Bruce Banner. That's something that's always been the case even since She-Hulk's been introduced in the comics in the 80s. Like, she was always a better Hulk. She was always more in control of her emotions. She was always able to go back and forth between her Hulk persona and her She-Hulk persona where she was still able to have a normal life. She was still able to be She-Hulk and still work her job as a lawyer. She was never overcome by her rage. She was never the savage She-Hulk until most recently in the comics where they had that storyline, but she was always the sensational She-Hulk. Unlike a Bruce Banner, there was never a moment where she completely lost control and had to fight the Avengers or anything like that. Like Jennifer Walters was always in control. And of course, with this being She-Hulk's origin, Bruce Banner, the Hulk, is super intrinsically tied to her origin. So you got to see more of Mark Ruffalo, more of what he's been up to since Endgame and because one of the big questions was, because when we saw him after an Endgame, he had the sling. But then when you saw him during the trailers and this, his arm was completely healed. They go into that. They answer some more questions of what he was doing during the blip, his relationships and everything like that. Like, I enjoy seeing more and learning more about Mark Ruffalo's Bruce Banner. Because for the most part, and I still kind of feel this way, Hulk has kind of been shafted in the MCU. And I really hope... I don't know if Mark Ruffalo wants to be done with the role, if he wants to eventually transition out. And I know there's the whole thing with Universal having the rights to the Hulk. And so because of that, Disney, Marvel cannot do a solo Hulk movie without having to pay for Universal or whatever, or pay Universal. And I think the rights are supposedly reverting back next year. So I'm hoping that they still have more plans for the Hulk because I really like the character of the Hulk and Bruce Banner. And I feel like... He, need, he deserves some justice in the MCU. But this isn't about the Hulk. This is about She-Hulk. And yeah, so far, I really like the first... I really like the first episode. I really like that even though this is a She-Hulk story, it's called She-Hulk Attorney at Law. So we're going to see Jennifer Walters be the lawyer that she... Outside of being a superhero. Like, it's a superhero law story. And that's something that I'm... Because it's just like the comics. Like, the comics isn't just about her taking down bad guys. It's also about her day-to-day -day as a lawyer. So, yeah, of course, I don't rate these shows based on one episode. I wait till we get the entire season. But this first episode, I really liked it. I'm really here for it. I can't wait to see what happens in the next episode. So the question is, have you guys seen She-Hulk Attorney of Law? What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you think it was a good first episode? Did you think it was a great first episode? What is your rankings in terms of all the MCU DC Plus properties in terms of a first episode? I would say for me, the best first episode might be WandaVision only because of like the hype where you just like, after it ended, you're just like, what? is half like what is this show like you can't get over the hype of like how wandavision and plus it was like during the height of the pandemic everybody was watching wandavision together everybody was at home so i think like yeah you can't really beat that but taking that out of context no yeah i still think wandavision was probably the first the best first at least for me i know a lot of people thought it was boring I didn't think it was boring at all. But yeah, what do you guys think in terms of your best first episode of the Disney Plus? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, if you can, again, 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 I can't emphasize this enough. Please hit that like button. It'll help with the YouTube algorithm. If this is one of your first time checking out one of my videos, please check out the other videos on my channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe for more and hit that bell notification button so you're alerted every single time I post a new video. And tell your friends, families, and neighbors about my channel to help me continue to grow. And as always... I will catch you guys next time.